Hey friends, so today I decided to take a little break from that huge box that I got from my local shop, local Goodwill shop, and do a little bit something different because look what I got. I got myself Presidium Jump Tester. So since I got this um, last weekend, I got this bag of rings. I already looked at them and kind of separated them so it was $92 hopefully I can at least get my money back from my local uh, San Diego shop so I already quickly went through them and separated them separated in the sense of once that they have a stamp or anything of interest in ones they don't so first I wanted to show you the rings that probably duds yeah I think they're just duds you know what let me just put it on the table yeah it was too loud to deal with this so let's just take a look quickly the funny thing is, I found quite a few rings like that, that you can definitely see they're just fashion. However, they've been stamped as 9 to 5, cheaply stamped. So let's see if I can find any stamps on this one. No, not on this one. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's this one. Hold on. Right there. See? Let's see if I can make it even bigger. Yeah, right there you can kind of see it says 925. It is not. Absolutely not. And thank God I have my acids. Okay, let me show you there we go there is no way this color is silver and to prove here we go nothing so don't ever trust the stamps always test always test do not trust your stamps okay so as i said there are quite a few this fashion rings and there's nothing wrong with fashion rings i will always add them to my um grab bags or lots of jewelry that i sell because why not those are still cute and bright let me turn on Presidium and we can at least see if they have glass stones or not. Let my Presidium warm up. I played with it a little bit yesterday. she's warming up I'm gonna start with this one okay she warmed up let's see oh I forgot to take off the No, she doesn't even move. Yeah, it's nothing, it's plastic. Okay, let's see this one. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, it doesn't even move. All right. 
let's take a look at this one. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. So basically these are just Monopoly rings, Ponzi rings. Yeah. 25 cents rings. Okay. I believe there's another one. This one is even adjustable. Let's take a look. Also no movement. This one, I believe same thing. Oh, this one back is even closed. This one doesn't even have an open back. Yep. No movement. All right. How about this one? Let's take this one. Okay, we can see a little bit of movement. This is a glass. At least this one is a glass. Oh, a lot of wear. There's quite wear on it. As I said, no stamp. It's probably just a regular fashion ring. Okay, what else? So I'm gonna turn off presidium because I don't wanna I don't wanna heat it up. I already know majority of these rings have nothing. They're just monopoly, like I call them play rings. I still want to show it to you so you can at least see. All right, so these ones that have a glass. So these ones that have glass. Um, this one has a glass stone. The rest is just um, metal, basic metal. Yeah, it's not magnetic, but however, oh, this one's magnetic. They just, yeah, this one's magnetic. This one just probably um, stainless steel. Oh, by the way, this ring also I found in this. Um, there's, it's nothing. This one is a glass, and this is just metal stainless steel probably. But I still like this ring for now. All right, gold tone with the full pearl and crystals. Again, fashion, just a fashion ring. This one is broken. Um, this one's going to be a scrap right here. Where is it? Right here. Right, you can see right here it's broken. Right there. I'll just put it in um, uh, craft log. This one, um, brassy, with just rhinestones on it. Gold tone with a, a lot of wear. Also probably gonna go to um, craft log. This one is cute. Probably also stainless steel. There is no nothing, no stamps, no nothing. I'll just wear it for now. Looks really cute, right? I believe this one is eight because it fits me nicely. It's even a little bit of loose. Silver tone, no stamps, no no any names with um, this plastic or acrylic cabochon. Big statement ring. Well, opalite gold tone ring with a lot of wear and you can see the copper picking through a little bit still shiny oh small shiny um fashion ring it's even small on my pinky probably size six five and a quarter this one is through and through plastic Fashion ring, gold tone with the green uh, missing um, missing stone right here. Yep. 
bolt on. Gold tone with uh, glass. It's gold, I can feel that it's glass. Also a lot of wear on it. But I'll be putting those in um, lots, jewelry lots that I sell. Some Someone might want it. Silver tone, gold tone, rhinestones. Gold tone chain uh, link chain uh, band. Feels like plastic to me, but I don't know. Silver tone with the topaz colored glass. Yeah, glass cabochon. Big statement glass. Yeah, glass cold to the touch. Um, well, maybe not, you know. Maybe it's just my air conditioning. Well, we can test it. I wonder. Silver tone, probably acrylic. Yeah, it would be an acrylic. Okay, we'll test this one. This one probably um, handmade. Somebody made it. Wrap around ring. I would assume this is plastic cabochon, but we'll take a look. I really like this ring with a smiling moon. Just a silver tone with this um, moon face. It's it's carved, but um, I think it's not stone or bone or anything. It's most likely plastic. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay, this one. No, it's nothing. No movement. And this one is also no movement. Yeah, it's probably acrylic. Nothing. Since she's up and running, let's take a look. Nothing. Yeah, you know, all these are just fun, fun rings. This one's really cute. It's a fish. Um, also, it's just the silver tone. See, I was testing it yesterday. Copper um, coming through. That's kind of a unique. Pretty heavy. This type of gold gold tone ring. Okay, kind of a rose gold color ring with, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, nope, not even a glass, this one too, well this one's moving a little bit, probably glass, Maybe, uh, no, I don't think so. It didn't get to the glass. Uh, cute, not too much wear, kind of. Oh my goodness, stone is crooked. Look at this. What kind of quality are we talking about? Yeah. What else we have here? We have brass, black. Kind of, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this or not. Looks like it's everywhere like this. I would assume this is um, enamel or some kind of a paint. Gold tone with this plastic cabochon, big statement ring. Silver tone with the purple and blue and all different color types of rhinestones. 
Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look if there are anything. Come on. No, nothing. Oh my goodness, I can't even do the setup. Can't even do the setup. Yeah, I think they're glass. Some of them, yeah, not really. Plastic. Black gunmetal with... Uh, Clear rhinestones, gold tone with the red heart. Not sure it's glass. Let's take a look. No, not even glass. This one funky ring. Let's see. There you go. Like this. You can bend your finger where. Oh my god. Yeah. This one, silver tone, dark crystals, rhinestones, let me see. Silver kind of a rhinestones. No stamps, no nothing. Gold tone with the green cabochon. I think it's broken. I'm not sure it's either broken. Yeah. I don't know. It's either broken or it's adjustable. I don't know. Gold tone. Nothing on it, no stems, no nothing, clear rhinestones, gold tone, kind of a long ring with clear rhinestones and plastic cabochon, yeah, nothing special uh, in this, I, I separated them all, this one is also fashion, this one also, oh, let's see what it says in here, Pure Vida. Yeah. Pure. Pure Vida. Pure Vida. Silver tone with blue enamel ring. I think I tested it and um, I tried to test it and there is no, yeah, look, see the. There's a lot of wear on this ring. This one's really cute. Gold tone. With a beautiful bow. Good that all the right stones are on it. That's pretty. A gunmetal color. That has a lot of wear. That's probably going to go straight to uh, garbage. This one. Silver tone. Let's see if it's anything. Let's see. Yep, that's at least glass. At least this one is a glass. Yep, at least this one is a glass. Okay. So cute, pretty ring. What else? Silver tone, just the design. It's not silver, I tested it. I tried to save some time for all of us guys. This one is a kind of a double ring. Maybe can be worn as the mid, uh, middle. Yeah, you can wear it like this, in, uh, in the middle of the finger, midi, what they call midi. Really good, not, not a lot of wear on the ring. 
another one of those that actually has a stamp hold on yeah see it says 925 no 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 this is not 925 it's it's nothing look at it it's absolutely nothing and i think this one even was put together ay, ay, ay. This ring uh, says junior pilot, an adjustable ring. I thought it may be gold plated or anything, but it's just dirty and yeah, yuck. This ring that has a prayer on it, right? I believe it says, I don't know what it says. Um, in, uh, outside but inside it's a prayer so God grant me the serenity oh, where is it to accept the things I cannot change to change the things I can and to know the difference right but I don't know what it says outside oh there's, I don't know where the beginning or the end. Accepting hardships as the pathway, pathway to peace. Taking, taking as he did. That's probably some kind of a scripture, right? So also not, um, not silver. Filigree ring, a lot of wear on it. Probably, um, most likely, it's gonna go to a uh, craft plus. Really cute band, um, enamel flowers, silver tone. And a really cute one, silver tone with black, probably glass. Let's double check. Yeah glass petals and oh hold on i think it's um i think it's glass but i want you to guys see it straight in the middle right here there is a crystal uh, clear crystal i'm gonna test this one do you think it might be glass or cubic zirconium so this is how the ring looks like those i tested this ones the black or dark color they are falling to glass category and this in the middle um kind of a cubic zirconia or higher upper level of glass so all right so let's be done i'll turn procedure off for now so she's not overheated Okay, I'm going to put it aside. Let's be done with this fashion rings. And hopefully this little bunch. I can at least make my money worth back, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, so first and foremost, I already knew this one is a silver uh, even before I looked at it because I've seen like this before. I actually have uh, silver earrings with also craft face, but the face was green and stone. I don't know what this is. Uh, let's, uh, let's see, let's, oh my goodness, let's fire up Presidium again. So, here's a stamp, nine to five. And everything that says 9 to 5, I will be testing. But this does look like 9 to 5. I've seen rings like this before. Beautiful. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay. So, it moves a little bit to the glass territory but I am not really sure I don't know what this could be it doesn't feel like glass to the touch maybe some kind of composite I, I don't know 
All right, next is, this is just a silver ring. It's very, very small, so I would assume it's a toe ring or maybe a midi ring with this articulated things on it. Cute. Now this ring is really interesting to me. It's really cold always, so I assume this is some kind of a stone, maybe um, quartz. I, I don't know what it, this is. This came out, I tried to test it. Um, I'm not sure, let's double check. I actually don't remember. Scratch is yellow. Sure. Yeah, it's nothing. Nothing, nothing. I didn't think it would be anything. However, I want to know what you guys think in regarding to the stone. So when I try to test the stone, and I'm pressing this one, take a look. It goes, oh, come on. Let's see. Okay, let's see where it goes. See, it goes quartz. Yeah, maybe I'm right. Maybe it is quartz. See, so it's this one. When you press on it, it goes to quartz. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe it is quartz. So, yeah big chunky heavy quartz ring all right this ring also very interesting this metal is nothing i tried to test it it scratches i think um let's see i think it gives me kind of a copper look yeah it's kind of gives the copper pinkish scratch so I know 100% it's not um, it's not silver or anything. But look, when I press on this black, look where it goes. It goes to top black. Right here, you can see it goes to kind of a tourmaline area. So, I wonder if any of you know what this may be. I don't know. I would appreciate if you let me guys know. Maybe it's just a gla glass. I don't know. Okay, next is this um, cute ring. Um, it's gold tone. Uh, let's see if there are any markings on it. No, I don't see any obvious stems, metal or otherwise, but the cabochons, it gave me kind of a vibe of antique, vintage kind of antique ring, and when I test these green cabochons, they go to, let's see, um, because this is not straight in front of the camera, it's hard to see. It's a little bit skewed. So let me put it this way. There we go. Yeah, I see it goes kind of a past glass into tourmaline stripe. Maybe it's a glass. Let's try again. Oh yeah, this one stays straight on the glass. So it depends which one I do. This one goes in high glass. This one's in the middle of the glass. Yeah, we would consider this one to be glass. Okay, this cute... And, and guys, I apologize for my dirty fingers. I was testing and I was doing all types of crafts so this one again says nine to five 
right here. Let's see where the stone goes. So I'll be, I'll be measuring this stone. It looks like it's glass. Now let's take a look if um, if it is silver. We need to double check. Well, yeah, yeah, this one, at least this one telling us the truth, right? All right. This one also glass, but really pretty glass. I think this one is a glass. Let's double check. Yeah. Yeah. It's glass. Any, let's see, any stampings. Oh, right there it says S925, so it means it's silver plated. Silver plated with a glass cabochon S925. Yeah, S means silver plated. Beautiful kind of a red orangey color. Well, it's a little bit distorted in the camera. If I go outside, it looks more of a deep blood red color. Kind of a, not as orange as it on the camera. Okay. This one is very interesting. This one is a silver. I tested it. I don't understand why it's a black or it's colored kind of a gunmetal, but this one is silver. I tested it with the black crystals. I wonder what those crystals are. Let's take a look. Oh my god, sorry. It's, I would assume it's glass, right? Let's do one more time. Is it really tiny? Oh, wait a minute. Where are they going? Hold on a second. Let's put it in the middle. So guys, you can see straight where it's going without any glare. Oh, what do you think? Do you think those are garnets? What? I can't really see what color they are. To me, they look black. Maybe they're just dark red. Let's see. Hold on one second. I don't know. They still look pretty black to me. Huh. Tourmaline? What color is tourmaline? I need to buy myself a book. Gemstones of the world. Or maybe glass. No, look at this. Well, if you guys know, let me know. So, this is a silver ring with this dark red or black stones. This one is a silver, even though it doesn't have any stamps. I, I could actually see it silver. And I tested it, and it it is to be appeared to be silver. Let's see about the cabochon glass, gold tone ring with the stamping, and it's tested. Yes, I tested it silver. Um, if it's a, it's probably vermeil because it's a gold tone over silver. Um, let's see what kind of crystal it is. It's either glass or CZ's cubic zirconia, so let me know how to see cubic zirconia here, but it's a pretty ring, just needs to be polished and cleaned. Let me test it again. Yeah. This one I thought it was really pretty, silver tone. Uh, no, it's actually silver. I tested it. This one is a silver. Let's see if there are any stamps. Yeah, they're right here. I, 9 to 5, and I tested it. But the stone is glass, and I was so disappointed. See, I'm not sure if it's even a glass. Look, I'm going to be doing this one. It's nothing. Oh my god, it's not even a glass. Ugh, so disappointing, right? So cute, and so disappointing. Alright, what else we have? Silver toe ring. 
Well, I keep on saying silver tone, silver rain, 95. I I'll double check that it is 95. I'm going to be testing all three stones. Let's start with the purple, um, light pink, and dark pink. Okay. Purple. Oh, I think it's empty. Yep. On Tanzanite or, or no, I think it's empty. Light pink. Tourmaline or Iolite and dark pink, probably tourmaline. Yeah, right here. You guys let me let me know what you think. All right. So this one, I've seen these rings pretty often now with a lot of unbagging. Um, this one is kind of a spoon bent. And let's see what it says. Endless. Endless by Anita. Endless by Anita. But it's silver. I tested it. It's a, it's a beautiful ring. I wanted to have one of those. When I see other people's uh, jewelry unbagging, I, I really wanted to have this ring. I probably leave it for myself. All right, next one is the gold tone. I also think it's vermeil because it's silver. I tested it. Um, it says right here. And actually, to be honest with you, I don't even know what it says. Let's take a look. I tested it, but V, what is it? Oh yeah, it's Vermeil probably, yeah, V, V, E. Um, let's see what this stone is. I would assume it's cubic zirconia. Let's take a look. Oh my god, it's just a glass. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That's nothing, guys. It's just glass okay this one um, silver ring and probably abalone oh no 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 I'm mistaken it's not even the silver I tested it yesterday I thought it was silver but it's not it's just an abalone I have an abalone set um, with earrings and a necklace they're also nothing so I I mean, they're not silver, so I probably put it with the set. It would look good. Earrings, um, necklace, pendant, and the ring. Okay, this one is uh, silver, I believe. Yes. Maybe it's also Vermeil. Let's take a look. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Some kind of a stamp. And this one's, I would assume, cubic zirconia. Let's take a look. Glass, glass, all the way, all the way through glass. All right. Again, silver, silver ring. I tested it. Can get it focused. Yeah, I think this is Taiwan. Taiwan. Okay, let's see what it's what stone it is. Slippery. Glass. And I'm not planning to test this little tiny. Well, actually, why not? Why not? Let's do it. Oh my god, sorry guys. Hit a, me hit a metal. So small. Really small. Ay, 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 ay. Sorry, sorry, Pressy. Yeah, very small. You can get to it, and it's also kind of crooked. There you go. Also glass. Okay. This one, silver, I believe. 
I think maybe not I don't remember why I put it oh I probably put it in this pile because I wanted to test it and I don't remember what it is so let's test it oh no 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 this is not silver let's take what it is uh, probably glass yep yep goes to glass this one is silver but rhinestones are missing so i'm gonna put it in uh, scrap silver scrap i tested it and here's the markings where is it probably upside down yeah right here i'm gonna be putting it in silver scrap gold tone um silver i think it is silver let me see what it says here yeah 925 and i believe i tested it but let's see what these stones are let me make it closer a little bit that's a glass this one has a good look tested it's silver and here is a stamp right oh. let me make it clearer silver silver plated also it has 925 silver plated this one is a really pretty ring um it says oh, let's see nine s nine two five i think i tested it it gave me a little bit of a silver but look i really like those enamel flowers how gorgeous they are oh my god the flowers are just gorgeous all right so this one is nine two five Let's see what this yellow stone is. Oh, it goes in two. Let's see again. It's upper. Um, no, probably glass. Yeah, this one is a glass. One more silver. Let's double check. It says China. <laughs> this is oh nine to five right here. Let's see what kind of um, stone. I'm gonna be doing um, center first, then right and left. Center's glass right is glass left is glass glass all right this cute gold tone ring i actually i actually see it tested it right here let's double check again i'm not really sure what it gave me nothing let's wait for a second I think it eats it right through right yeah I eat it right through it's, it's nothing let's see what type of stone it is pretty shiny so I would not be surprised if it's cubic zirconia Let's take a look. There we go. Ah, glass. But I wonder how cubic zirconia will show up on this. Um, if you guys know, let me know. So yeah, pretty shiny, but just a glass. 
Okay, and the last one in this uh, category is this gold tone. Um, I think it's um, actually, hold on, let me, I don't know what this stamp means, what it is. Let's see. It's just copyright, I think. Um, these stones are, let's see what they are. I'll try to, my eyesight is not good. Oh my goodness, they're just nothing. Oh, sorry, 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 it's supposed to be metal. Yep, they're nothing. Okay, so quite a few silver rings, quite a few silver with stone. Nothing really special. Um, now I, um, there are these rings left. I wanted to show you guys. So there are these three rings. This one, I'm not sure what it is. Because when I tried to test it um, for 10K, it, it, the acid did not eat the line for 10K. So I'm going to repeat my test right now. And you guys let me know if I'm reading it correctly. So I scraped it. Now I'm taking my 10K. The reason why I decided to um, do 10K is because if it doesn't, it's through 10K, then at least it's 10K, right? So what do you think? Do you think it's 10K or 10K gold plated? Because I keep on uh, rubbing it or rubbing it in the same place and, and the line stays the same. So if you guys agree that it's a 10K, this is seven grams right here. It's pretty, pretty substantial, seven grams. So what do you think? Do you think it's 10K? I tested 14 and it ate right through, so I know for sure it's not 14. Okay, this one. And and there is no stamps, but um, I know that sometimes if somebody made a ring out of gold scrap, someone made it, they're not always putting stamps on the metal, especially if it's done um, for yourself. So I don't know, let me know. The other ring is this. Um, again, I don't think it has any stamping. Let me try to test this one. Yeah, it's it's nothing. It's I doubt it's silver. 100% doubt it's silver. Yeah, it's nothing. Eight right through. However, look at the stone. Let me show you the stone. So, I'm going to be testing the red one first and then this clear ones. This is the red one. So, look at this red one. Look, it goes straight to ruby. So I'm kind of confused. The white one, if I if I try to test the clear one, it goes to glass. So I'm confused. Why would they put a synthetic, even synthetic, lab-grown ruby or lab-grown uh, sapphire into no metal, non-precious metal? I would be very confused. Unless it's, it's done somewhere um, in some other countries. You guys let me know. So... So this has nothing. The metal is not precious. The clear um, stones are glass, but this pink is goes straight to ruby sapphire. Very confused. Unless someone wants wanted to smuggle a ruby sapphire and put it in a, <laughs> in a no um, non precious metal setting anyway all right um so this is a second ring this one i really also like i think it's a glass but it's really beautiful color and cut 
So the reason I picked this one, because I really like that ring. I really don't care whether it's precious metal or not, but let me take a look. What does this one say? It says 925 and something after. Um, zero B, J, I, I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. So this one's silver. Yes, I tested. Now regarding um, the stone, I think it's just glass. Yes, it's just glass, but still, I really, really like the color and the cut. So, and last but not least is this one. Uh, and it's, um, at first I couldn't see it, but it's hiding it right here. Let me show you. Right there in the folds. It's 10K. 10K. EMA so it's a 10k white gold and this um, stone let's take a look at the pink one first I'm going to be doing the pink one and then this clear one if, if I'll be able to do if I will be able to do it I will try so all right so let's see so the pink one again goes to ruby, ruby sapphire. So I believe this one is a ruby sapphire, probably ruby or sapphire, I don't know. So now let me try to do the clear ones. Oh, I'm not sure I can get to it. Ay, 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 ay. Oh my goodness, I can't get to it. So they're clear sapphires. Look like those little white ones. A clear sapphire. So I think it's a ruby with clear sapphires. Yeah. So this one, 10K gold. So out of all that, out of all of it, out of all of it, we have some silver rings with most likely uh, cubic zirconia glass right here and I have three this that seems to be questionable because it's non-precious metal but this stone is go going to uh, sapphire line I would assume it's synthetic this one is gives me 10 10k gold and this one is a 10k gold with uh, sapphire ruby with a ruby and uh, clear sapphire right here so what do you guys think do you guys think this three rings plus some silver from here um, I would say this one is 100% silver and some others so do you think did I make my money back well, thank you so much for hanging out with me. It was really fun testing out my proceeding for the first time, and I'm really happy that you were a part of it. Take care.